today in this class we are going to study about Kilji dynasty and in this we are going to study about Alauddin Kilji about his military conquest that is Deccan policy administrative reforms military reforms and economic reforms okay in the previous class I had told you that uh, Jalaluddin Kilji was the founder of this dynasty Jalaluddin he was uh, 70 years when he ascended the throne and it is said that he is a very good person that he is, he is uh, uh, with kind and generous and it was in the year 1290 his nephew and son-in-law called as Alauddin Kilji murdered and he was captured the throne from him so now let us know about Alauddin Kilji Alauddin Kilji actually he grew up under the protection of Jalaluddin Kilji and during his childhood he was a very good warrior and served as a governor and also as the military general so as a military general under Jalaluddin he invaded Malwa, Devagiri and plundered a lot of wealth and it is said that in the year 1296 he defeated Raja Ramachandra of Devagiri and also returned with a lot of wealth okay and Jalaluddin who was so pleased of this he went to Allahabad to receive him personally so it was here unexpected Jalaluddin was murdered by Alauddin Kilji okay and later Alauddin Kilji defeated and imprisoned his two sons that is his two sons of Jalaluddin and proclaimed himself as the ruler of uh, Delhi in the year 1296 and uh, in order when he ascended the throne his people that is his ministers and his nobles did not accept him as a ruler okay and in order to win over these nobles he distributed the wealth that he had captured from the Devagiri and thus he won them to accept his supremacy okay this Alauddin Kilji was a uh, it, it has been said that he is a very good uh, ruler that means best and the most successful ruler of the Delhi and uh, it according to some historians we come to know that he also had a wish that is like Alexander to conquer the whole world but it was not happened so now let us know about his military conquest one of his first expedition he undertook was the uh, capture that means to conquer the Gujarat in the year 1297 it is said that uh, Allahuddin with his uh, general he marched un, uh, to uh, with a large army and uh, conquered Gujarat, Malwa and uh, Mewar and he also conquered the port of Ranatambor and uh, Chittor and it is also said that the famous Somanatha temple was also raided during his time and uh, there is also sources which says that it is here that is in the one of the market a Hindu slave called as a Malikapur was purchased that is bought okay and later this Malikapur will become a great general of Alauddin Kilji and uh, he will, uh, Alauddin Kilji, he will raise him to the position of the general. And uh, he, Malikapur led a series of raids in the Deccan. And it is said that he had captured uh, Devagiri and he defeated the rulers of Varangal, rulers of Dwarasamudra and Mysore. Okay. My, uh, Malikapur was also very, uh, he also, it is said that it is, he also proceeded up to Madurai and uh, Rameshwaram and he plundered and uh, looted many temples. Thus, after having conquered the whole uh, South India, he, re uh, he returned to Delhi with a huge booty. Now, let us know about Alauddin's Deccan policy. Alauddin was a very good statesman that is he tried to realize that the south was very far off and it is difficulty to rule 
and it was uh, pointless also to annex these territories to his empire so he made the rajas that is the rajas of south as his feudators and took tribute from them so like this he was able to maintain a vast army and develop an efficient administration so this is his deccan policy and next about his administrative reforms he was not only a good administrator but also a very good accomplished uh, uh, statesman also that is he had undertook various administrative reforms in order to control the vast empire so to meet the expenses of his uh, empire and to meet the huge army he had to find the ways to collect the revenues so what did he do he confiscated all the land that means the free land that was being given to the uh, priests and other government officials so this is one of the steps that he followed in order to get the money okay to maintain the huge army and secondly the officials were forbidden that means to collect the taxes from the peasant and insisted the peasants to pay the tax revenue directly to the king so this is also another way to see that uh, is a treasury to be filled and avoid the corruption in the administration and king ji also tried to prevent a conspiracy among the nobles so for this he banned alcohol drugs and uh, associations and he also banned association formation among the lieutenants and their association with the general public and uh, to even to attend the marriages among the elite class of people were also be banned this is his administrative reforms and also he insisted the farmers with the minor holding that means the people who are holding the small land as well as the large land lot they have to pay the taxes and in order to collect the tax he had also appointed the officials they are officials and these officials have to collect the taxes from the farmers okay and this is about the administrative reforms now let us see about his military now let us know about his military reforms he had well equipped army and also had made a lot of improvement in the army and he had appointed the defense minister and his task is to recruit the soldiers supply the arms and horses whenever it is needed okay and he also had took the measure to see that the salary of the soldiers were paid on in, uh, in cash the last day of the month and also maintain hulia hulia means a document that means a system of record which was been maintained uh, to the individual uh, soldiers okay and during his time there was also a system uh, called as a dhag that means a system of branding the horses so these are some of his military reforms now let us know about his uh, market reforms the most prominent aspect in the economic reform was his market reform okay he is the first person who regulated the market that means he has set up various reforms in the market like uh, he had established a different market for the food grains and also market separate market for the horses cattle and also separate market for the imported goods okay like this he had established different different markets to the different commodities for the people okay and even the weight and the balance of the merchants were also checked regularly okay and prices of the essential commodities were fixed so that it should be seen that it is not being uh, raised and uh, and uh, prices also prices of the commodity also should not be increased or decreased without the permission of the ruler and he also made an arrangement to see that a large quantity of grains okay to be used in time of the uh, period that means excess of uh, food grains were hoarded and the granaries were also been established okay and he also appointed uh, officials also to check the corruption and also to regulate the market 
and uh, the name of the officer was a Shan E Mandi. Okay, Shan E Mandi was an officer who has been appointed by Allahuddin Khilji to check the market. Okay, coming to his economic uh, reforms and uh, price control measure, prices of the essential commodities were kept low only. Okay, in case if anybody violated uh, these norms, they were punished very severely. And the taxes in the fertile land was uh, uh, fixed. That means they have to pay the half of their total produce. Okay, land revenue was fixed and collected strictly. Okay, Allahuddin was the first ruler to adopt all these measures. So thus we can conclude by saying that he was not only a conqueror, efficient administrator, but also suppressed all who challenged his authority. His economic policy is also praiseworthy. It is not only uh, uh, considered uh, him as a, a very good person who had maintained a large army, but also protected his subject. And uh, it is said that after his death, his uh, general Malikapur placed his uh, son, that is minor son, and in the name of, uh, 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 sorry, he placed his uh, minor son, and on the throne and try to rule in his name but later Malikapur and his son that means his Alauddin son minor son were killed and uh, thus in 1320 the last Kilji ruler were, was killed by Giyazuddin Tughlaq and laid the foundation of the Tughlaq dynasty.